morning, Edward left Miles to go back to the castle. I hope you'll be the king. If I go to the castle, I'll call you. On his way back to the castle, he thought about the unfair treatment of Miles and people in poverty. I should be a king to help them. Tom also felt uneasy in the castle. I can't believe this is happening to me. I was just a pauper. Your carriage is ready. Now you'll see how popular you are. Tom went to the carriage which was covered in gold and expensive leather. Here, throw these gold coins to the crowd. What a wonderful but strange life! Just then, Edward ran up to the carriage when the carriage passed the forest. The real king is here! Tom, it's me! Don't you remember me? Get away, dirty boy! Stop! It's true that he is the real prince. We switched our clothes when I entered the castle. I can't believe it! Can you prove it? Sure. Let's go back to the castle all together. Okay. If you were the real prince, you should know where the king's seal is. Sure. It's hidden in the bookshelf. Prince, remember carefully. When I visited you, you showed it to me and then hid it quickly. That's right. It's on the cushion of my chair. The advisor went to check and returned with the seal. Oh, please forgive me for doubting you, my prince. Now we can crown the real king. Prince Edward was crowned king again. King Edward summoned Miles to the castle as he promised. You really were the Prince of Wales! Now that I'm the king, I'll arrest your brother. You may have your house back. Thank you, my lord. King Edward made Tom his special advisor. They lived in the castle together. King Edward's reign was one of the most just in the history of Wales.